Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have an air code for a Nye tankless water heater. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumperman Tech. Today we have a service call for a Nye tankless water heater model RUCS75. We got two of them here. And the issue is that at some point this machine gave an error code 10 and you would see it in this window. At the moment there's nothing as this machine is not running at the moment. I downloaded the manual and it says code 10. The definition is air supply or exhaust blockage. So there's a couple things we wanna check. It says uh, check nothing is blocking the flute inlet or exhaust. Check all vent components for proper connections. Ensure approved venting materials are used. Ensure vent length is within limits. Ver verify dip switches are set properly. Check fan for blockage. So there's a couple of things you want to check. Definitely the quickest and easiest thing is to check the air supply. So right here, this van, you got two of them coming out. So right now, we have air intake and exhaust in that, in that one pipe. So it might be a good idea to do a quick check on the roof. Well, a lot of times, you know, it could be the fan motor is not running or the fan blade is dirty or obstructed. Heat exchanger could be dirty or even for ones that condensate could be a problem. If you look here, this is the condensate neutralizers here. That's pretty gummed up in there. That's not gonna, that's not gonna flow properly. That is not gonna flow properly. So that's another thing we wanna take a look at. All right, let's make our way up there. All right, let's get up there. Got this thing strapped. Okay. We were actually just working on these AC units, cleaning them up, but these guys are doing some cement work back there. Told us to stop. So we were getting water. <laughs> All in their way. So these are the two, these are the two vents over here. I just gotta clear this out. Okay. There's definitely some blockage. So this is a laundromat. And as you can see, there's a ton of lint on this roof. A ton of lint on this roof. So definitely could have a lint problem. Look at that. Unreal. All over. So let's brush that down, blow it out with some air and take a further look inside. So that's the exhaust. I have my other flashlight, but it doesn't look bad. But this intake, yeah, that could do it. So let's brush this thing out and blow it out and then see what's going on down there. It's a good chance this, this fan could be full of dirt as well. That immediately came through. Definitely some blockage there. Let's try to clear that up. Must be full of dirt inside as well. Mm hmm. Look at all that. That's your intake. Plugged. That will definitely give you problems. Mm hmm. Cleaned out some of it, but I'm worried this whole stack is packed. Oh, that dirt flying out of there. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, man, look at all that. Yeah, that's probably a problem right there. Clean up some of this lint here. Get that out of the way. Get that out of the way here. It's just gonna be intaking all of this. There's definitely a lot of dust still inside there, down in the pipe, and I can see some of it. That's not good. I'm gonna have to try to blow this thing out from from down there if we can, but uh, we 
Yeah, this lint, the lint is the problem on this roof. As it's the problem for these condensing units, we, gotta, we come out here twice a year, that coil, the condenser coil is packed with lint. Unreal. All right, slide this off. Slide this off. Got a couple screws on there. Power off. Okay. If you look right there, I see dirt, dust right there. That's gonna be our intake. I see lint inside. I take some pictures. And then this fan inside here could be plugged as well. And inside here we have a heat exchanger. That could be plugged as well. It really just needs to clean this thing up, man. There's lint all over this unit. That's the that's the problem. There's lint everywhere in here. That's his problem. here is that fan I'm curious to see what it looks like inside there mark some of these let's see if we can pull this out get a little space get that out of our way let's see if we have enough slack to kind of get in there okay let's see what we see should I take all let's try to get this out let's see what that blade is looking like I want to make sure we got good airflow A little dirty oh yeah it is pretty dirty we're gonna brush it down and blow it out make sure nothing is dirty in there blow that out it actually looks pretty decent it must be his intake that's a problem clearly with that lint let's brush oh yeah there's definitely dirt in here let's brush some of this some of this out gonna blow it out see that all oh, that intake man it's gonna blow out what we can and try to clear this up much stuff coming out of here problem is lint guys 100 percent get all that coming out of here inside there seeing video guy with guys and bugs and critters inside these little fan motors so 
Yeah, honestly, the little bit that we did should help. Maybe you'll pull. It's a bad one. There's lint all over his air conditioning systems and lint all over these units. Okay, lock that up. All right, we'll put all of this back. We're gonna let this thing run. Customer wanted something quick, so this is something quick. Blocked off. I honestly, the the dirt we took off the top should help a lot. All right, this area is pretty decent. Clean out all the dust from here, and uh, the fan motor blade is good. Clearly, the machine was running, so the fan motor runs. Yeah, and I guess the last thing we could try to do is maybe blow out his drain, make sure it's okay. If the problem persists. We're gonna have to blow out this whole line. You need to clean out this whole line, this whole air intake, clean everything there, and change the condensate neutralizer in there. This thing is, uh, looks gunked up, looks pretty bad. So that's pretty much gonna be it for that. We try to blow out these lines, and that's it. Simple fix, the problem persists. We're ripping this whole thing apart. Gotta clear in all the airways and clear that drain. And, uh, he should be okay and if he really wants to go in we should open up this heat exchanger here and see what kind of dust is looking inside there but thankfully this air intake over here wasn't that bad honestly it could be just the, the pipe up top because literally majority of the air was restricted and this should definitely help here's your gas inlet cold water inlet hot water outlet here's your drain i'm just gonna open this thing up Okay, we're gonna pull this thing and we're gonna blow it out with some nitrogen, get that flowing, but I recommend it, oops, battery's about to die. Recommended to change out this condensate neutralizer kit. Last time we changed it was over two years ago. So yeah, that's about time to go. There is a way that you check the pH level here and you know if it's time to go, but just by looking at it, it looks pretty gross. It looks like it's gunking up a bit. It's time to go even blowing this out might not be the best but it's not backed up completely completely because you would see water back flowing so i guess that's okay so pretty much recommendation change up the condensate neutralizer kit if this problem persists we gotta open up this pipe and clear out this whole line make sure everything is fully clean in here fan motor assembly heat exchanger whole air intake everything around it and everything clear through the drain and that should solve this problem I'm gonna cover that area with a rag because that might just blow right now so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna blow out his line okay that's good Got a little bucket on it. This ain't the best setup. Should have probably poured from inside, but let's just pour some water through here and see what's up with this. Let me know if it drains. Yeah. Draining? Yeah. All right. We're good. That kid needs to be changed. That you can change like in one piece. All right. I'm just gonna close this up. Boom. Ooh. Bam. Oh, bop. Bada bop. Boom. Pow. Oh!